A banned chemical has been discovered in Guam's drinking water, causing Guam Environmental Protection Agency to investigate. A recent Guam EPA Board of Directors meeting revealing traces of dieldrin was flagged in 80 Guam Waterworks Authority entry points after an inspection by U.S. EPA National Enforcement Investigation Center back in March. Dieldrin is an organic chemical once used as a pesticide in crops and to control termites. It was banned by U.S. EPA in the late 1980s for its environmental hazards and and potential carcinogenic effects. The chemical is not regulated by U.S. EPA, so there is no maximum contaminant level. Following Florida and Hawaii guidelines, Guam EPA plans to mandate a public notification and advisory at 0.002 micrograms per liter and a do not drink without treatment advisory at 0.2 micrograms per liter. 80 GWA entry points have sample results of over 0.01 micrograms per liter. Three GWA production wells, meanwhile, are above the threshold for EPA's acceptable risk range. Military water wells do not currently have a report of the Elgin results. The agency is unsure where their banned chemical is coming from. Guam EPA um, will be working with the Guam Public Water Systems to ensure that samples are analyzed at a lower, lower minimum reporting level of 0.002 micrograms per liter to ensure public safety. And furthermore, Guam EPA is in the process of applying instruments to test the Eldrin. 80 GWA entry points have sample results of over 0.01 micrograms per liter. Three GWA production wells, meanwhile, are above the threshold for EPA's acceptable risk range. Military water wells do not currently have a report of the Eldrin results. The agency is unsure where their banned chemical is coming from. There have been studies that have shown that if you leave it in soil, exposed to the environment that it will all be gone within about 20 years 20 25 years so that's why it's a little puzzling to us why we're still seeing it but it's not it's not unusual other states have seen the same thing Chief Engineer Captain Brian Bearden with a working hypothesis that the increase in the Eldrin in our drinking water may be due to the demolition of old buildings around the island. He believes the materials are hauled to hard fills exposed to rainfall and end up washing into the aquifer. That's something that is going to require a whole of Guam EPA approach. So from pesticides to green parcels to hazardous waste, all branches of Guam EPA are going to have to be mobilizing to figure this out now and find out why it's increasing and try to stop this. Once EPA leaders are ready to propose action levels, there will be a public comments period and a hearing. Matsuki Hurayama, KUAM News.